friends welcome to my channel if you're new here hi i'm jenna i love to crochet plushies and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back also it is finally starting to feel like fall and i am wearing a crew neck and i'm so happy because this is my favorite crew neck it is like a heart tie-dyed crew neck from urban outfitters and as you can see i have several of these crew necks because they're like my favorite but i am so happy the summer heat is behind us and i can just be comfy and cozy again but anyway for today's video it is going to be a very chatty crochet with me video we're going to do some yarn unboxing i'm going to share some fun facts about myself with you guys we're just going to chat and have ourselves a good time so with that let's get into today's video happy sunday everybody i came on because i've been busy this weekend crocheting and i want to show you some orders that i am going to pack up so there are four plushies in this order and this order is for annette so annette if you're watching thank you so much for your order but all right first in the order we have this large axolotl and if you guys missed my previous video, I came out with this pattern myself. So if you want to make your own axolotl, I'll link it down below. Next, we have this little baby mallard. I love making these mallards now. They are adorable and parfait chunky. And then next, we have Tofu the turtle. And of course, it is in the nice little confetti shell. It's such an adorable color combination. And then lastly, we have a chicken. These chickens have been super popular on my shop actually and i can see why like they're just so derpy they're so cute i also wanted to show you guys i finally finished that red panda i think i mentioned in a previous video that i like was making all the pieces to it but i finally finished it here's the panda isn't it so cute look at all the details i love how this pattern worked up and like look at the little paws and the back is actually all orange and we have a nice orange and brown tail and yeah I think this panda turned out so adorable and look how big it is and now this panda is actually going home with that bunny up there if you can see the bunny um, I also showed that in a previous video but this is for my customer Jennifer so Jennifer if you're watching you're finally gonna get your plushies and thank you so much I also finally went to my PO box yesterday and I got some fan mail thank you everybody who sent me some fan mail let's open it up together so here it is I actually got a package this time and I'm like really intrigued as to what it is my husband bought me these little box cutters and they're like in the shape of a flower and they're so convenient for opening up packages I love that it came in a Joann's box like that's so fitting and I know last time when I opened fan mail I cheated and I like opened it off camera and then I like showed you guys afterwards but this is a completely like blind like let's open mail together oh it's so cute it's like already like all wrapped so beautifully oh my gosh she sent me a turtle look at this beautiful little strawberry baby and she sent me a little letter oh my gosh okay i'm sitting down now dory oh my gosh thank you so much your turtle is so adorable i can't believe i get to have her ah uh, hug check <laughs> it's so cute and small let's see what she sent me this is like seriously so sweet like thank you so much Aw, Dear Crochet by Jenna, I hope you enjoy the gifts I made for you. I used your pattern for the strawberry turtle. You are my number one favorite YouTuber. Aw. Okay, so Dory, I'm not going to read out your entire letter because this is like personal just for me. But I am going to share with you guys some questions that she asked me so you guys can hear the answer too. So she asked, what is your favorite video that you have filmed? Dory personally loved my room makeover video. Oh, <laughs> thanks so much, Dory. Um, that's hard. I feel like my favorite video that I filmed, the room makeover video was really, really fun. And I loved seeing my like space transform. So maybe my favorite video that I filmed too was the makeover video. She said, how many patterns have I designed this year? My favorite pattern that you designed is my capybara. Oh my gosh, and she lives in Mississippi too no way that is so cool back to your question though um how many patterns did i design this year i'll have to like do a quick calculation i think it's like literally around 17 patterns if i like didn't double count 
and I did it kind of quick so don't quote me on it but yeah I've made quite a few patterns this year and it's mainly because of my patreon I have to come out with two free patterns at least every month so that definitely keeps me on my toes but I love pattern designing I've gotten a lot of questions about this actually like how do you start creating your own patterns how do you get into it and I was super intimidated by pattern design when I first started crocheting because crochet in itself it's like a totally different language so I definitely recommend like getting used to crocheting getting used to reading patterns and like understanding what each stitch does for example I know that I can use a bobble stitch if I want to create like a leg or an arm but back you know a year ago I had no idea what a bobble stitch even was so I think it definitely helps to know every stitch out there for crochet get really like accustomed to using it to crocheting with it and then from there you can start kind of like drawing out a design that you want to try and make and then you think about what kind of stitches will help achieve that shape that you're trying to get I hope that all makes sense it's a lot of trial and error like literally when I pattern design I have a piece of paper I like draw out a rough sketch and then I go like round by round testing whether or not these combination of stitches get me to that shape that I'm trying to achieve and I'll like make notes to myself I'll like undo a bunch of stitches and like repeat the process and tweak it as I go so it definitely is a process but designing your patterns is super super cool and super rewarding if there isn't a pattern out there and you want to make something and it doesn't exist already you have the power to create it yourself okay and then let me open up one more thing that Dory gave me this is like so sweet. I can't believe it. I'm like showered in love. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, this is actually so cool. I have not crocheted a scrunchie yet. And this is such a cool velvet scrunchie. Look at that. And it actually has a really good amount of like resistance, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to my patrons the other day when we were on our live crochet Zoom sesh, and I was like, I kind of want to test out crochet scrunchies. I feel like they wouldn't have like the resistancy that like a normal scrunchie does, like that bounce. But this one that Dory made is actually really, really good. Look at that, and I love the color that you chose. It's perfect for my outfit right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dory. Okay, let's open another package. This one is from Caitlin. What did Caitlin send me? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys are sending me plushies. This is like so thoughtful and so sweet. She sent me this little baby Triceratops. Oh my gosh, literally look at this little baby. I'm like inspired now to make a triceratops this small because I have the ones that I normally make with my 5mm hook and parfait chunky but I really want to make one like out of acrylic like Caitlyn did. Like look how cute this looks. Oh, Caitlyn says she loves my human sized turtles especially the sage one and I love that sage one as well. Oh, thank you so much Caitlyn. Your letter is literally too sweet. Keep it up. Like keep going. You got this. Like I 100% believe in you. All right, and let's open up the last one. It is another like kind of big package. Um, and this is from Leah. Fun fact, my sister's name is actually Leah. And it's spelled the same way, L-E-A-H. Oh my gosh, another plushie. So Leah gave me this adorable little bee plushie that she crocheted, aww. And then she also gave me some green embroidery thread. And I appreciate this because you never know when you'll need embroidery thread like that. I can't speak. You never know when you'll need embroidery thread like this because I've had a few projects that call for very thin embroidery thread so you can add on like details. So thank you so much for the green thread and for the little bee. Oh, there's more goodies. Oh my gosh. She also gave me purple embroidery thread. What else is this? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It looks like she made her own like polymer clay stuff. So this looks like a little froggy and then she made a little kitty. And this actually reminds me, I've been like itching to get back to polymer clay. I've been watching a lot of Uncomfy. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's a polymer clay artist. She makes a lot of cute like desk figurines and keychains and it's all out of polymer clay like this. 
So I've actually been wanting to like get back into it. I used to do a lot of polymer clay earrings like a few years ago and I honestly miss working with clay. Oh, thank you so much, Leah, for your sweet letter and all of the little goodies. I really appreciate it. You guys are so sweet showering me in all of these gifts and love. Thank you guys so much. Good morning, guys. I came on because look at these chickens that I made yesterday. So we have the frosted, the beige, the cream, and I made this super cute custom black chicken for somebody. It's actually based off their own chicken that they have as a pet, and they wanted this really cute like black and white speckled beak for it. And yeah, I love how it turned out. Honestly, making these chickens give me so much life because like look how cute they are just all lined up in a row like that. I also got done making three turtles yesterday, so that is fun. Look at them all just chilling there. And then I got done making these babies yesterday as well. Yesterday was a big crochet day for me. So yeah, gonna pack up all these babies. So I've been making a lot of chickens, as you guys know. Here is my cream one. They work up so quick and they're so cute, but I decided I wanted to finally make a little mini chicken out of acrylic yarn. And here it is, look. It's so small compared to the mama chicken. This is made out of Bernat baby blanket yarn and a size eight hook. And then this one is out of acrylic yarn um and i used a three millimeter hook and like look at the size difference it's crazy but it's the same pattern so this really shows you how important hook size and yarn weight is but yeah they turned out super super cute i am in love with the chickens and i added the little chain link keychain and the little plastic claw clip so this one i think i will be keeping just for myself Super cute. And I get a lot of questions as to where I get my keychains from. Everything is linked down below on my storefront on Amazon. Someone also ordered a large green axolotl from me and I'm super happy because I finally get to remake that pattern in a different color. I've only made it with pink before. Here is the little green axolotl. I love how the little gills curl up like this, but you can easily uncurl them. But I think it just looks so cute. And then here's its little legs and the little tail frill. And yeah, this green one is going home. And this is my very own pattern, so if you guys wanna create your own like large jumbo axolotl, I'll link it down below, it's on my Etsy. And then last night I finished writing up the pattern for my baby eagle. I think I showed you guys a while back this baby eagle and it did really well. I made it actually as a custom for a customer and I thought it would be really cute to just write up as a pattern. And here he is, such a little baby. I love the little frill on the top. I think that's like my favorite part, but yeah, super quick pattern as well. And I put this on my Etsy last night. So if you wanna make your own baby eagle, you can go grab it on my Etsy store. I just wanted to take a quick pause from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that allows you to change your IP address to unblock content that you normally would not have access to. Surfshark is handy for so many different purposes. For example, if you're a traveler such as myself and you find yourself international and needing to connect back to either US-based apps or apps from your country, Surfshark is the perfect way to do that. Also, if you're into streaming a lot of different movies and TV shows, Surfshark makes it easy to access and unblock certain libraries that are only available to certain countries around the world. If you go to a lot of coffee shops or the library and you are surfing the web via some free Wi-Fi, Surfshark will keep you safe even if you are using those unknown free Wi-Fi hotspots. By utilizing Surfshark's VPN services, you will be able to encrypt your data and fully protect yourself while surfing online. Get Surfshark VPN by visiting www.surfshark.com.deals slash crochet by Jenna and enter code crochet by Jenna for an exclusive offer and three extra months free. Thank you so much Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. And with that, let's get back into it. So I'm working on a new commission piece. It is for Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. And I've actually made a Tigger before, so I already have the pattern luckily. And I just wanna show you guys, I'm making it out of acrylic yarn 
per the customer's request and I just like love how crisp these stitches look like I have a love hate with acrylic yarn I do love how crisp it gets the stitches to look though and then so like this is the head for starters and then I also just got done the body look at the little stripes but yeah I am excited to see how Tigger comes out Happy Saturday, friends. I am crocheting all day today because I really need to catch up on orders. So I figured let's turn on the camera and crochet together. I'm still currently making Tigger. I showed you guys a few clips ago. I am now making his legs and I only have the two legs and the two ears left and then I can sew and get it all done. I've been kind of like multitasking between projects. So this is definitely taking me longer than usual, but I wanted to show you guys look at his little arms they're so cute I can't wait to see what he looks like when I'm done so I thought it would be fun to come on and share some fun facts about myself because I recently posted a reel on my Instagram and I did a few fun facts and people actually seem to really like it so I thought I would continue the trend on here for all my YouTube friends so to begin with here is a really fun fact about myself Back during the pandemic, so we're talking like 2020, summer of 2020, Joe Jonas actually crashed a Zoom call that my friends and I were on. So a little backstory, the Jonas Brothers came out with their Happiness Begins album and they were trying to promote the release of that album. So they were like, oh, we're going to be crashing Zooms, like send us your Zoom link and maybe we'll crash. So my friends and I all jumped on a Zoom, and of course we did not expect to like have the Jonas Brothers crash the Zoom, but to kind of bait them into picking us, we sent them a picture of my husband. His name is Jonas, by the way. So we sent them a picture of my husband photoshopped in their album cover and I think we said like oh this is Jonas he wants to be part of the Jonas Brothers and actually at the time he was sick with COVID so we were like he's sick with COVID and he would really want to just meet you guys so that's kind of how we baited them and then before we knew it we were like on the zoom call and this random guy joins and we we're like who is this? And it was like one of the Jonas Brothers manager and he was like coordinating the whole thing and he was like, Joe's gonna come on in a few minutes, be ready. And we're like, what? And my one friend, Elena, she like did her makeup, she was wearing a cute outfit. And in my head, I was like, there's no way they're joining. Like, it's fine, I'm gonna wear like a t-shirt. And then Joe literally joined and I was like, oh my gosh, why do I look like this? But we were all freaking out and it was, it was crazy. Let me try and see if I have any like photos from that time period. I think I was like trying to Snapchat like all of my friends saying like, this is Joe Jonas on our Zoom. So yeah, that's one fun fact about me um let me see have I actually met any other famous people not really I have really bad luck with like famous people I swear I would be like in the same city as a famous person and all these people would run into the famous person and I wouldn't I would like just miss them um oh back in middle school I actually did meet One Direction it was really cool um my friends and I like slept outside of Walmart in the parking lot overnight because One Direction was coming the next day for a CD signing and lol that just is so funny to say like are CDs even relevant now like with Spotify and iTunes but you know back in middle school um CDs were a thing and we yeah we literally stayed outside overnight in Walmart, in the Walmart parking lot, to be one of the people who actually got to meet One Direction and get the CD signed. And I still have the CD to this day, and it was super cool, like, meeting them and talking to them. Obviously, they were, like, super overwhelmed. Uh, but yeah, middle school me was very, very happy and excited. I'm a big Directioner, even to this day. Okay, more fun facts about myself. Well, I started crocheting in January of 2022, so I'm actually pretty new to the crochet world but I literally just fell in love with it and just haven't stopped crocheting since it is truly a passion of mine it's just so relaxing I just find it so like therapeutic and it's just so fun like creating your own stuffed animals let's see I am 25 years old I'm about to be 26 though my birthday is next month in October 
Um, I'm married. I got married last year in June. My husband and I have been together for over six years though at this point. So we definitely have known each other a good bit. We actually went to the same high school, but he was a year above me, so it's not like we were friends or anything. He was like the cool older classman, and I was like a nobody. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, no, we weren't friends in high school or anything. We just like reconnected with each other one summer when we were both home. We actually dated long distance though, the first three years of our relationship, because he went to school in New Jersey and I went to school in DC. So we were long distance for those three years that we dated. And then finally we moved in together when we both moved down to Florida together. And that was because of his job. So yeah, it's definitely been a journey. I've lived in Jersey, DC, Florida, and now Mississippi. His job entails a lot of moving. So I am definitely going to be moving to a ton of different states in the future. Um, I have a little sister. She's three years younger than me. I think I mentioned her in a previous video because I actually helped her this summer move from Jersey to North Carolina because she's going to school there to get her masters so that was fun she recently adopted a golden retriever puppy I think I filmed some footage for you guys but I never put it in a video so I will put the footage here his name is Jamie he's so cute so fluffy a lot of you might already know, but I work a full-time 9 to 5 corporate job. I genuinely do really enjoy my job, and I feel like that's why I keep working it. I get a lot of questions saying like, oh, you don't do crochet full-time. I feel like I definitely could, um, and that's like a whole nother video about, you know, taking crochet full-time. Could you be a full-time crocheter and like actually make a living? Like, the answer is yes. Um, I plan on making a finance video later for you guys, but for me personally, I think since I am able to balance both, I've been just maintaining both. Maybe in the future when we have kids and I would need more like job flexibility, I might go full time with crochet. But yeah, right now I am a corporate girly as well as a crocheter. I said this on Instagram, but like I'm actually pretty shy. I feel like I don't come off that way in these videos and it's just because like I've always loved editing videos, filming videos. I was in newspaper in high school and I always like edited all the videos and, and filmed all the clips for the newscast. So I feel like that's where I first got my like love of video editing and like filming. But in real life, like if I don't know somebody or I'm like, in a social gathering and don't really know a lot of people, I definitely am shy. A lot of people ask sometimes like what are my other hobbies. I used to make polymer clay earrings and I've been recently having that itch to like get back into it. And um, a fun fact about me is that I love having like different side hustles and crochet is the only side hustle that has like truly stuck. This is the longest I've ever committed to any hobby. But yeah, before I used to make polymer clay earrings and sell those and that was fun but it kind of like fizzled out. But I've been like seeing a lot of ceramics on my Instagram explore page and a lot of like polymer clay figurines and I'm like ooh, I want to like try my hand and make one. So yeah, maybe I'll carve out some time and do that but other than that let me see what other hobbies i like i enjoy reading i definitely like traveling i love going to different restaurants being a foodie but yeah honestly i feel like i'm pretty simple like i like i'm the type of person that likes to be busy but if being busy means just like crocheting all day like that's totally fine by me I think I'm definitely more introvert now than when I was in college or like high school. I think I used to feel the need to like always go out or like always do something. But now honestly over the past like few years I found more peace at being like at home and like doing things with myself and just really being like a homebody. Like I definitely have seen myself transform more into a homebody and I love it because I find it just really really relaxing which is nice when you have like a corporate job or like other outside stressors it's just nice to like sit down and enjoy your home enjoy a nice hobby and be a little introvert <laughs>
Oh no, I think I messed this round up. So let me frog it. What else can I talk to you guys about? Fun facts about myself. Um, I went to undergrad in DC and I got my bachelor of science in economics. And then my master's degree that I just got is in project management. So very heavily focused around like, I feel like the corporate finance world. And then I just find it so funny that like my real passion is crochet and creating and being like a content creator. It's just so different. It's like two different worlds. And maybe that's honestly why I enjoy doing both because I get to put on like my corporate girly hat, you know, nine to five. And then after that, I can put on my like creative crochet hat. And I kind of just like having a balance of both. Oh my gosh, guys, I keep messing this round up. I think I'm gonna have to stop and focus. <laughs> Oh, that's why I like messed up on the round prior too. So everything is being thrown off. Sometimes you just gotta undo stuff and like backtrack. That is what I found is most useful. Like if something keeps not making sense, keep backtracking. Cause you probably messed up a few rounds back and that just throws everything off. Okay, it looks like we're good now. Let's try this again. Yay! Okay, we ended correctly. All is good. My sister is actually calling me right now though, so I think I'm gonna go hop and talk with her and then I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm coming on for something not crochet related. I don't know if you guys know or have heard about Sunny Angels, but I follow a lot of like art YouTubers and they've been like going crazy over these little like Sony Angels. And I finally kind of like gave into the craze and I wanted one of my own. So basically it's like a blind box and you don't know which angel you're gonna get. And there's like a bunch of different collections and everything. So it's literally just like little desk friends, little figurines. It's really just like a fun collector's thing. Thing. Um, but I ordered this one off of Amazon. So these are called hippers and basically they can like attach to your Monitor or your phone and they just kind of like hang down from it as you can see here These are all the different ones that I could get in this box So I thought it would be fun for me to come on and open my first blind box with you guys I like am never really about these collector's items, so this is like all new to me. I hope I don't get too obsessed because they are kind of hard to find. I luckily got this one off of Amazon, but I know people usually get them in stores and no stores around me sell them, so let's see what I get. Ah, oh, I'm feeling it. It's definitely not the bunnies, but it's okay. Let me see. Let's see. Okay, so I got the sheep or the like the ram, but yeah, this is it. Isn't it so cute though? So like this part's sticky and you can just have him hang and chill. And then as you can see the back, he has his little butt and his little wings. Let me put him on my screen and show you guys. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm obsessed. Look at him just sitting right there on my monitor. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, I definitely want to buy another one because I really want to get the bunny. A little update on Shay and her hammock. She is definitely in love with it now. Look at her, freaking just hanging out, living her best life. Today I brewed my first cup of pumpkin spice coffee and it is very fitting. I woke up and went outside to let Callie out. It was a nice like crisp 50 degrees out and I was like, yes, it is finally fall. I just wanted to come on and show you guys though what is on my hook. I am making Wednesday Adams once again for a customer and I just think it's so funny how these like patterns start out. I love making her little legs because like how adorable is this? Just look how small and how like detailed it is. Love, love, love this pattern. I will link it down below if you guys want to make your own Wednesday Adams. I feel like I could definitely dress up as Wednesday for Halloween this year because 
I have the black hair, I can put my hair in braids, and I feel like it's a pretty simple costume. Usually I'm a cat every year because I love cats and it's simple, but this year I actually do want to dress up. And speaking of Halloween, we got Callie an adorable Halloween costume this year. I got it on sale and it was literally like, what, 10 bucks? So it was a steal, but it's literally this like hot dog costume that lights up and it fits her to a T. And I will insert some footage here of her in her costume, but I am so excited, guys. I was kind of thinking if Callie's a hot dog, my husband and I should be like ketchup and mustard. I think that would be really cute. But now I'm like, I really want to be Wednesday. I also have still never watched Wednesday or The Addams Family or anything like that. So if I am going to be Wednesday, I need to at least watch the TV show. Guess who got more yarn? Me? Oh! <laughs> So let's do a quick unboxing. I don't want to bore you guys, but I did get some fun new yarn, so I figured why not unbox it with you. So the first is this Little Bunny Fuzzy Yarn by Premier Yarns. All of the yarn I got is from Premier, by the way. If you want 10% off your first order at Premier, I'll put my referral code down below, and you can save some money on your first order. But yeah, first one is this yellow fuzzy yarn. Next, I got this green-colored Little Bunny Fuzzy Yarn, and I actually want to make fuzzy mallards because my Mallards have been doing really well in my shop lately and I think a fuzzy mallard would just be too cute. Also, it being fall now, I just want everything to be like very cozy and comfy. So I was like, fall equals fuzzy plushies. And then I got some of this brown colored fuzzy yarn. I think I could make some like bears and then of course the mallards. Yes, yeah, super cute. Oh yeah, and I still have to make my fuzzy bees with this yellow yarn. So I got all of this. Next, I just restocked on some of the basic colors. So I got red parfait chunky yarn. I got this emerald green parfait chunky yarn. This is for my mallards. I got some more orange yarn because Halloween and spooky season's coming up. Gotta restock some orange. I got this lime green yarn because this is a very popular color for honestly like frogs customs i've been using this yarn color a lot so needs to restock i got more of my snow cone in this frosted oh it's actually called licorice i keep calling it like frosted gray but i've been making a lot of chickens with this so i needed to restock this love that yarn by the way Here's a chicken actually right here that I have on hand. This is what the yarn looks like after you make a plushie with it. So yeah, love this. Okay, and then lastly, I got this yarn. It's called Mushroom and it's perfect for making like corgis, um, like skin color. Yeah, definitely a good basic color to have in. So that is all my yarn. I need to stop, I know, I need to stop. I say this every time and then I'm like, hey, I got some new yarn, let's unbox together. Unrelated to crochet, but since we are being chatty during this video, I wanted to show you guys if you have the Stanley um, tumbler cup. This cup has been in for like the past year or so. I love my Stanley. I used to be a hydro flask girly, but now I switched over to this. And I recently got this handle and it is like definitely life-changing because the only thing I don't like about the Stanley is that you can't carry it like up top you have to hold it and when I am taking in groceries or I just have like a bunch of stuff in my hands I always have to dedicate like one hand to carrying this big water bottle but now with the handle it's so much nicer I can like grab multiple bags and like not have to worry about it so highly recommend I will link down below where I got this handle because I saw a different youtuber um talk about this so i was influenced and now i'm gonna influence you guys so any of my stanley cup girlies this is definitely a recommended purchase by me and yes it is secure i was a little skeptical too i was like is this gonna hold the stanley because the last thing i want is to put this on and for it to come off and like my water spill everywhere but right now my stanley is like full and it's very heavy and this is doing great like i'm even bouncing it like swinging it i have full faith in this and it's because this this band right here it is made out of silicone and basically it comes like this small like literally this small and you have to stretch it and put it on top of your water bottle and the like tension and pressure is what like keeps it on also it's like silicone so there's like a lot of friction and it's pretty grippy 
but it was a little bit of a pain to put it on to be honest but definitely worth it definitely definitely worth it i love it also i can't believe like how long my hair has gotten guys like it is long usually i like to grow out my hair and then cut it every august but this past august i did not cut it i don't know how long i'm gonna let it go but i feel like i've always been like a long hair girl i've never really liked myself in short short hair but i occasionally do get the urge to like chop off all my hair so we'll see how long this long hair lasts all right i think i'm gonna call the video here thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your endless support and love i seriously love making these videos for you guys and running my channel i literally cannot say thank you enough for 40k like it is amazing to know that we have such a big crochet fam and i hope that everyone just has a great rest of their day happy crocheting and i'll see you guys in my next video bye